Alright guys, today I am going to be showing you how to set up your G27 steering wheel pedals and your gearbox to Euro Truck Simulator 2. So, once you have bought Euro Truck Simulator, you've got your uh, G27 set up and everything, what you want to do is come on to, G20, uh, come on to ETS, sorry, and what you're going to do is come down to Options here, then you're going to go on to Controls, and as you can see, this is what you'll see. So, what you do is you'll come up here, and you'll select your keyboard Logitech G27 Racing Wheel USB. So once that is selected, just go through all these settings here and steering sensitivity. Have that up full so that you can get like the exact. So if you turn it the smallest bit, it will turn the smallest bit in your game. Then when you feel like the full way around, it will go the full way around. So it's just like the exact, the closest you can get to it. Then here's the other one so force feedback you want that one so that's when you're turning a corner it will push back on you and then here's just all the other ones so these ones here just kind of had have them central here so your steering access so that's your steering wheel and stuff your joy accelerator so what you want to do guys so see if it's the accelerator you just click it then you press down the accelerator like so and that is the accelerator the same as the brake just choose your brake and push down your brake. So it's just as easy as that guys. Same as your clutch and stuff. So if we just keep on come down, so you look uh, down, left, right, access and stuff, all that stuff, that's just whatever you want to set the buttons as. I've got them as the four, well the kind of d paddy thing I've got is that. But here's the next bit. So, like say your reverse. So what you want to do is just click it, get your gear and then push it back. And that will be it done. Same as uh, shifter posi position one. So gear one. It's easy as that. So just do that all the way through. And I'm not sure what these two are. So I think I just left them clear. So yeah. Just here's all the other ones. And then you've got your engine on and off stuff. That you can just set, uh, set. But if you do muck anything up. You can just do reset to defaults. But that's basically it guys. So if you want to just have a look. This is what I've got all set as. And you want to have this here, the shifter layout, as a splinter, not any other one, that one there. So just make sure that's that. So that's basically it, guys. Just want to pause it, just how we look, and you can set it up like so. So once again, guys, you just select it like so. Then push down the accelerator button or whatever it will be that you're using. And that will be easily done. So there you go. That's small. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching, hopefully it's been helpful to you, if it's helped you out knowing how to use it, but if so, if it has, please do leave a like down below, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.